Hey guys, well I gotta admit, I've really been into microphones lately, which is why I'm taking a look at yet another one today. However, this time one at a higher price point, by the brand going by the name of Trust. Admittedly, Trust might not really be known for its professional mics, for content creators and streamers, but what I can definitely tell you is that this one today happens to be one of the most versatile microphones even complete newbies can on the spot achieve incredibly juicy clear pro audio with. Sounds too good to be true? I thought so too, sounds like a nasty ad, right? Well, the result speaks for itself. What you've been hearing in this very video so far has already been entirely recorded with this specific mic without any additional editing. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Trust GXT255 Plus Onyx. How much this setup costs, you ask? About 200 US dollars, but as far as I know, this product isn't really available in the US yet. I'm based in Europe, so there's that. And why do I call this a setup? Well, because there's not just the bare mic included, but also a good microphone arm, the table mount or whatever you call this thing, and some additional nice features to which we'll get to soon. Trust, in a nutshell, is and has always been known for being the brand that offers good price to performance ratio products. And let me tell you, with today's Onyx mic, they once more succeeded. Now, just in case I fail to mention a few things about it, take a look at Trust's official product page. The link is in the video description. Before we move on, I'll cut out the background music, so all you get to hear is the raw, unedited recording with today's microphone. Something not only I, but quite a few of you will find really nice, for sure is that USB Type-C cable used to connect the microphone. Trust deserves its first round of applause for that fact alone. Quite a few of those microphone legends should pay close attention to this. Not that nice, on the other hand, is the choice of materials for the mic body. We are talking of plastic, but it hardly affects anything here. It doesn't make a cheap impression. As a matter of fact, the table mount is actually out of metal. Needless to say, also comes with a bit of padding to avoid damage to one's desk or table. And the microphone arm happens to be out of metal too. The majority of it, at least. The joint pieces are plastic on the outside. This deserves a slight deduction of points. But as I said before, everything does make a solid, robust impression. A few among you will surely be asking yourselves, what's up with that cable on the arm? It's a good thing you asked, because the microphone arm simultaneously acts or more so offers a small USB hub function to which you connect the mic with that short USB Type-C cable. This keeps everything nice, tidy and clean. Mission accomplished, I guess. The microphone in itself doesn't actually come with any mounting thread, so it can't be screwed onto random mic arms. Instead, you're pretty much forced to use a shock mount, something I don't really have anything against. Putting the setup together is just a matter of seconds, or rather minutes, and thanks to those three joints on the arm, along with those swivel functions down on the table mount, as well as shock mount at the top, the mic can be adjusted at pretty much any angle you desire to your mouth, no matter what massive desk you may or may not use. Furthermore, readjusting the arm hardly produces any unwanted noise, something that from time to time does happen with classic conventional arms in the middle of recording sessions. Very well done indeed. Let's maybe talk about the microphone itself for a bit now. This happens to be a condenser mic with the polar pattern cardioid, ideal for content creators and streamers among us. The huge advantage of the cardioid pattern is that mainly only sounds produced directly in front of the microphone are being picked up, while unwanted background noise for the most part stays out. The king in that discipline, however, still remains a dynamic mic, but I don't really like the sound such produces. A matter of preference at the end of the day. Anyway, on the Onyx, there are some controls for us to use. Gain slash sensitivity control, in simple words, how loud you record. What I can tell you is that this mic is capable of recording at impressively high volumes. It's a mic with a really high sensitivity, therefore great for very quiet subjects and recordings. Maybe for people of my species that talk into the microphone very softly and quietly. 
It's important to be talking into the microphone at the correct orientation though. Apparently, this happens more than a few times as far as I've heard. Further down below we get a USB Type-C port, a 3.5mm headphone output for live monitoring, practically latency free, and the playback and monitoring volume can be set to be very loud. Not all mics out there are capable of achieving that, hats off at this point. That small rocker is for setting the actual headphone monitoring volume. You've surely noticed that the Onyx additionally comes equipped with that slightly weird LED lighting ring. That one is adjustable and offers six colors, but I don't really see any practical use for it personally, but hey, it's an extra feature to each their own. Directly on the bottom of the microphone, we get the button for it that controls the lighting. Of course, it can be turned off completely as well. Oh, and by not rotating the gain control, but pressing down on it, you're muting the mic, which then makes the ring glow red. Underneath that foam pop filter, there's hiding an interesting construction. It should be able to completely keep out any disturbing signals by phones from recordings. I wouldn't place my mouth too close to the mic, however, since the pop filter doesn't entirely eliminate plosives when too close. A distance of 15 centimeters is plenty and perfect though, even for me performing really quiet voiceovers, we still get a nice full sound. Once again, all that you've heard so far in this video has been recorded only using the GXT255 Plus Onyx at a distance of about 15 centimeters. If you listen closely, there's even a bit of noise floor audible, but only very minimally. Not that audible in most cases, though. Now in order you get a better picture on what the sound is like at different distances, here's a quick test. Right now my mouth is only roughly distanced 5 centimeters from the mic, which first of all clearly introduces plosives and secondly amplifies my well hydrated mouth. Which is why I've quickly distanced myself 50 centimeters away from the mic. I should still be somewhat audible, maybe with lacking richness in tone. Last but not least, a test recording at a distance of 1 meter. I hope you can still somewhat hear me, not sure about this one. Back to 15 centimeters of distance to the mic. It of course also needs to be said that the gain slash sensitivity setting has a huge effect on the conducted test. If the sounds you wish to record are further away, you probably should crank that knob up a little. Admittedly, I'm not a professional when it comes to audio tech, but in my humble opinion, today's Trust GXT255 Plus Onyx mic is one of the best, most versatile pro microphones out there at least as far as I've dealt with so far. The great thing about it is that you don't even need to be a pro. Even a complete newbie will be able to properly set this mic up. Good recordings are pretty much a guarantee, one could say. No matter what you do, you should always end up with good audio. Which is why today's model definitely counts to one of my all-time favorites. And those of you that have a higher budget of around $200, should definitely also consider this Onyx mic. Just a heads up, there's no software or any noise reduction bundled with it. It's just a plug and play mic, well worth recommending. With that being said, thank you so much for watching everyone and please take care.